In some of our recent videos, we've shown you some very, very cool custom ROMs that you can apply to your Android-powered smartphones and tablets. But what happens after you've tried them and you decide that they may not be for you or you want to revert your device back to stock? I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and this is how to restore your Google Nexus to factory stock condition. Next thing you're going to need to do is head over to this website. I'll have a link to it at pocketnow.com so you can just click and get there quickly. You're then going to need to find your device in this list. Mine happens to be a Nexus 7 Wi-Fi that we're going to show you today and I have two choices, either Android 4.1.2 or 4.2.1. I want to go with the latest version, 4.2.1, that's the latest version of Jelly Bean, though if you think it's a little laggy or like the previous version, you can flash back very easily if you wanted to do that. Go ahead and click, find your link to download. It is relatively large, we're talking close to 300 megabytes, so download and uh, go get yourself a drink. Next, you're going to need a program that can uncompress our downloaded file. It's in a TGZ format, so the, uh, the app that I like is called WinRAR, it's free. I'll have a link to where you can download that over in the article as well. Next, if you don't already have it, you're going to need to download the Android SDK or a slimmed down version that has Fastboot and ADB and all the required tools so that you can hook your device up to your computer. To get the Android SDK, I'll give you a link also in the article. Once the Android SDK is installed, you'll have a platform tools or a platform directory depending on the version and uh, what platform you're using to install all of these tools upon. It looks something like this. What I'm going to do now is just copy all of my Nagasi I think I said that wrong last time. Uh, all the N Nisaga, <laughs> I'm not even going to try. All the Nexus 7 files over into this folder. And yes, I do need to have administrative privileges, so I'm going to continue. This time I'm going to say yes to all items because there's half a dozen or so. Close that folder. And now I've got everything over here that I need. This is where things get easy. You need to reboot your device into fast boot mode. The way I've done that is held down the volume up and down button when the device was off and press and hold the power button until it comes up to mass boot. You can tell because it says so right there. Next, and of course I've got this hooked up to the computer. Next, I'm going to change into this folder. Using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can just highlight that line, copy it, come over here and type in CD for change directory, right click, paste, and enter. And there you go. I was already there, but that's the fast way to do it. Clean that up. The next thing, this is where it's all easy. We want to flash all. Simple, simple. Flash all. Now, if you are on Linux or on Mac, it's going to be a little bit different. You'll want to follow the instructions. Again, I'll have a link to those instructions at the article. But you can see from here, it's going ahead and flashing and erasing and erasing and flashing. Everything is going to be replaced. It's going to be all back to factory stock, except it's still going to be unlocked. Now, over on my device, it's gone ahead and rebooted, and you can tell here, I've now got that mounted as a device. Looking at it, you can also see I am now at my welcome screen. This is still not OEM locked. If you want to OEM lock it, you need to reboot into fast boot mode again and run uh, another command, which I'll have for you over in the article at pocketnow.com. So there you go. You can now quickly and easily restore your Nexus device back to factory image and even OEM lock it again so that you can resell it, so that you can give it to a family member, so you can send it in for warranty repair, whatever the case may be. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, give the video a thumbs up. Why not tell your friends about it over on Google Plus? Pocket Now is over there too. I'll have a link to our Google Plus page as well. For Pocket Now, showing off how to dig out of the hole you may have dug yourself into with custom ROMs. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.